With $20 billion in defence infrastructure investment planned for the Northern Territory over the next 20 years, it's an exciting time to be part of the local support, service and maintenance sector. The Northern Territory Defence and National Security Advocate, Air Vice Marshal, retired Margaret Stabe is in Darwin to provide an update to local business and industry on current activities being undertaken and upcoming opportunities. There's a number of activities we're actually doing. First of all is to promote awareness about it, but also through some of the industry associations like Aiden, the Australian Industry Defence Network, some training in procurement, particularly around the US rules and other seminars like that, so that people can understand what the requirement is and how they can um, better participate in that huge amount of work. And of course that means the money and the jobs stay in the territory, but also it's a contribution to the broader defence requirements. We just reacquainted everyone with the Refresh Defence Strategy. So the areas that we're looking at there is um, developing workforce, developing business capability, working with the community and government to make sure that our defence families are well looked after and supported. And closer to home, we're looking at building the uh, capability of the marine services sector. We're also focusing on some of the aerospace activity and making sure that we're ready to support and train people who will be able to participate in the supply chains for sustainment of those vehicles. The Northern Territory Defence and National Security Strategy is available at www.business.nt.gov.au.